Are you trying to find a good quality blood pressure monitor so you can take your blood pressure at home? Today I'll be reviewing and demonstrating how to use this brand new home blood pressure monitor by a couple of famous physical therapists you might have heard of named Bob and Brad. At first glance, this device looks like one that you would see at your local drugstore or a doctor's office, and that's because this device is designed with simplicity in mind, and it's built to provide high quality, accurate readings, which is important as you monitor your blood pressure at home. Taking your blood pressure at home is actually a really accurate way to monitor your numbers because you can be in a relaxed, comfortable environment and then compare data over multiple days and times. Plus, it can be a really great way to track your data so your provider can see what your blood pressure is over time instead of just relying on one measurement that they take in their office once or twice a year. Using a monitor like this is really pretty simple, but always make sure to read the instructions provided with the unit. Now let's go ahead and take my blood pressure with this unit right now. It's best to sit in a chair with your back supported and feet flat on the floor and blood pressure cuff at the heart level to ensure an accurate and consistent reading from day to day. Sit up tall and slide your arm into the cuff, making note of the artery marking and the arrow that should point towards your shoulder. It's best to place the cuff directly onto your skin for the most accurate reading, so wear a short sleeve shirt or one that you can roll up without restricting your arm too much. The cuff should be snug around your arm but not too tight right now. Also remember it's not good to check your blood pressure within 20 to 30 minutes after exercise because it could be elevated. It's also good to avoid eating a big meal, drinking caffeine, or smoking within 30 minutes of taking your blood pressure as these can all affect your reading. And most of the time it's recommended that you take your blood pressure at home before taking Taking any blood pressure medication. Once you're ready to take your blood pressure, you simply press the start button and you'll start to feel the machine inflate around your arm. It's normal to feel like it's squeezing your arm pretty tight here, so don't be alarmed by that. It'll reach its peak pressure, start to deflate, and then provide a reading to you on the screen. The reading will provide two numbers. The top number is the systolic pressure, which shows the pressure in your arteries when your heart beats, and the bottom number is the diastolic pressure, which is the pressure in the arteries when your heart is at rest. Normal blood pressure is anything equal to or less than 120 over 80, Elevated blood pressure is a systolic reading of 120 to 130 with diastolic less than 80, and blood pressure above 130 to 140 or more with a diastolic level over 90 is considered high blood pressure. Anything above 180 over 120 is considered a hypertensive crisis. If the device reads a number this high or higher, take your blood pressure again in a few minutes. If it continues to be this high, it's recommended that you contact your healthcare provider right away. Here are a few tips for taking your blood pressure. Number one, it's a good idea to take two measurements, one in the morning and one at night at the same time and at the same place. If you get a reading that's really off, check to make sure your cuff is attached to your arm correctly and then wait a couple of minutes and recheck your blood pressure. Number two is to keep a log of all of your readings and to bring it with you along with the blood pressure monitor to your next doctor's appointment. And number three is to make sure that you use an accurate and high quality blood pressure cuff. Most units like this one can be found online for around $40 to $50, but with the coupon link below, you can get the same one that I'm using today for less than $30 on Amazon and have it within a couple of days. So that's how you take your blood pressure at home with a self-monitoring blood pressure unit like this one here. If you found this video to be helpful, let me know by giving this video a like. Hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.